Oh, I just threw down. Let me, yes, let me just did. respond to that for a second. I, I've shown this film now to enough people mm -hmm. who do not come away saying D-Man is about Bill dealing with his grief over AIDS. What people say is that it's about the use of a work of art. Now, this may be too utilitarian, but it, it, it's about the use of, the, of a work of art to confront catastrophe and to confront death and to bring life out of it. Mm. And, and that was what we saw when we started to make this film. And you've that, done a beautiful job. And, and, mm -hmm. and so, I have to make so, my peace so with my feelings every right. time I watch it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I don't, but I, I, with great, the, the greatest respect, those are yours. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't, I feel that the film's feelings globalize the, the, uh, the import of that magnificent work. Mm -hmm. so. And for me, um, and I think ultimately, even though it was a, it was a very difficult decision for me and for us to put me into the film, I think it was actually a good one because... Oh, it's brilliant. You're, you're brilliant in it, guys. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> but I, I wasn't so much going to say it was a good one for that, but, but because it is also my story and my reading of the piece. And for me, Demon in the Waters captures... Um, and dare I say, perhaps it's a throwdown to <laughs> rebut yours, um, you're unconscious and that it might actually be more about unconsciously about that time period than maybe even you might realize. Mm. And that was something as a 19-year-old when I came into the room, I felt like I was getting. Mm. 